A very long time ago, there was a sound in a video known as the bruh meme. Bruh. And this was a very funny meme and a lot of people were using it and most people knew what this sound was. However, a lot of people did not know that the guy in the meme and video was a basketball star. So who is this guy? And what happened to him? And where is he now? And today, I'm just here to explain to y'all his story. Tony Farmer. This is the guy who's in the famous bruh meme video. And to get into Tony Farmer's story, we gotta throw it all the way back to where things started. Tony was born on March 24th in 1994, and he was one of the top basketball players in the country. In high school, Tony Farmer was 6'7", so this guy was an absolute beast. He played his high school basketball at Garfield Heights and was rated among the top 100 high school players in the United States. And a lot of recruiting websites actually had him listed as a 4 star recruit, but ESPN only had him listed as a 3 star. But in August of 2012, he was sentenced to 3 years of prison after he pled guilty to kidnapping. Not only kidnapping, he pled guilty to assault, robbery, and intimidating a victim. So it was definitely more than just one little slip up. The reason he actually winded up pleading guilty to most of his accusations was because it was all caught on video. And during the trial, his victim, which was his ex-girlfriend, she asked the judge not to sentence him to prison. So I guess they ended on good terms, that's all I can assume. She even said this in an interview. I know he was a good person, I hope he still is. But even though he's a good person, he still did a bad thing. He actually had a lot of people fighting for his case. His coach and a lot of his former teachers were vouching for him in court and his coach even said this, if you give him a chance, he's in good hands. And this is where the bro meme comes into effect. When they announced he was guilty, he completely fell to the floor in shock. And therefore, that's what made the bro meme. And I think we all assume that we've seen this story before. A young and talented athlete just couldn't control his actions off the court. And basically, he was going to be done and never heard of again. However, that was not the case. We are actually just getting started and this is not how Tony Farmer's story is going to end. Farmer was sentenced to three years to prison and he did his time and didn't get in any trouble at the jail, which was good. Instead of falling victim to all the trappings in and out of prison, the young man actually stayed out of trouble and found a way to grow as a person. The former top 100 player was released from prison in June of 2015. And I think going to prison actually somewhat helped him because it put him in the right state of mind. When Tony Farmer was released from prison, he said this in an article about his experience in jail. Honestly, it's pretty simple. Before any any action, just really sit down and think. Think before you act. Anything can happen. You have to be on your toes and pay attention to your surroundings all the time. Really learn from my mistake, everyone else who made a big crucial mistake in their life. So it was very obvious that he changed and he was a better person. He still wanted to pursue basketball and he was doing just that. Tony actually signed with a college known as Lincoln Versity and things were looking really good for him. However, shortly after signing with this college, they denied his admission. And here was a statement released from the college. Unfortunately, Tony was not admitted into Lincoln College due to institutional decision based on various factors. According to head coach Pat Lepper, Tony is at Lee College in Texas. So yes, I guess I kind of spoiled that for y'all. When he was denied from Lincoln, he wound up deciding to go to a college in Baytown, Texas known as Lee College. Lee College is a community college, so it's pretty small. But after getting in college and finally given another chance, he did not take lightly of it and he made the most out of it. In his first season at Lee College, he averaged 16.7 points a game. That is remarkable, think about it. He was in jail for three years and didn't get to practice or do anything. And in his first year back, Rusty, he averaged almost 17 points a game. That's good. Not only that, he also pitched in 8.7 rebounds and 2.4 assists a game. And before we go any farther, we just have to admire the perseverance that this guy has. He was a top 100 player, went to jail, and he didn't give up on his dream. That's just amazing. He kept fighting for that second chance, and once he got it, he made the most of it. So heading into his sophomore season, which was the year 2016 through 2017, he had pretty big expectations, believe it or not. And let me just tell y'all, he put on a show. Tony Farmer scored 17.4 points per game. And he almost averaged a double-double because he put up 9.5 rebounds per game as well. And he also dished out 3.2 assists per game. With having another outstanding year, he thought he was good enough, so he decided to turn pro. Yes, that's right. Tony Farmer entered his name in the 2017 NBA Draft. And long story short, he went undrafted, which was kind of expected, but hey, there was still a chance. 
Even though he went undrafted, he did not stop pursuing his basketball dream. In the 2018 season, Tony Farmer actually played two games for the Yakima Sun Kings. The Yakima Sun Kings is a basketball team located in Yakima, Washington. It's basically just a really small basketball league, but hey, at least he was still trying. And after the 2018 season, we really didn't hear too much about this guy. But however, in 2020, his name popped up once again. In this year, he signed and played two games with a Mexican team. Team. I don't know how to say the whole name, but the first and starting of their name was the Halcones. And as of today, Tony Farmer is still on their roster. Unfortunately though, he only got to play two games this year because the league was suspended due to the coronavirus. But as of now, and when I'm making this video, he's still on the roster and he's playing for them. So when they resume action, he's going to be playing professional basketball. I think it goes without being said, this guy literally has one of the craziest basketball stories of all time. He went from being a top 100 player, to jail for 3 years, to a community college for 2 years, to getting undrafted, to a basically Washington team that's not that good, to a Mexican team. That is unreal. I'm wishing him the best of luck and I hope he continues to chase his dreams because this guy is definitely determined. And once again, I know I've said it a lot, but it is just unbelievable that this guy is still playing. And hey man, props to him. Tony Farmer was a top 100 high school basketball player, but then he got sentenced to jail for three years. But even though he went through a lot of adversity, he did not let it stop him from chasing his dreams. But hey man, with all this being said, that's about gonna wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something. If you are new to the channel, what are you doing? Join the family and hit that subscribe button and leave a like for more. And as always, let's be great. I'm out, y'all. Peace.